there, this is Crystal, and today I'm working in my traveler's notebook. I am actually in the very middle page of this notebook here, and I have a few things that I've pulled out to use for the spread. So this is the photo I'm gonna be documenting. It's of um, a bottle of wine I purchased while we were um, winery hopping, I guess, in uh, Colorado while I was out there visiting my brother. Uh, and then I have a few things from various kits from Brandy Kincaid for Feature Craft. So I have this card, which is from The View From Here. I also have this three by four card, which is from Hold Tight, and uh, this four by six card, which is from Mostly Magic. So uh, a random assortment of cards. I also have a label that was uh, on one of the cut apart sheets from Brandy Kincaid. Um, and then I pulled out a couple extra things I have this scrap of paper. It's from uh, Paige Evans' Horizon collection, but I thought the color worked really well with my photo, as you can see. And then I did pull out a tiny alpha from Studio Calico. Um, I'm not sure if I'll need that, but I did want to have one handy just in case. Uh, but I'm planning to do my title with the Aster alphabet uh, designed by Brandy Kincaid for Feature Craft. It's Brandy's handwriting, and I, I love this so much, and I've been dying to get this into this traveler's notebook. So I think this is the opportunity to do it. So um, I have an idea of what I want this to look like, but I'm not entirely sure how it's all going to work out. So I'm just going to put you on fast forward and start playing. So I'm going to start by trimming down that scrap of Horizon paper uh, to fit one side of my notebook. So I'm pretty sure that I want to cover the entire left side with that paper. Uh, and the notebook I'm using is from Webster's Pages, so I trimmed that page down to four and a quarter by eight and a quarter, and that makes it just overlap the edges so that I can trim around the outside to make sure it fits the page perfectly. Uh, and now I'm just kind of laying things out to make sure I like the idea that I had in my head and that it's actually going to work on the page. Um, I also wanted to make sure that my title would work. So the title of my page is just the name of the place where we were, Palisade, Colorado. And like I said, I wanted to use this Aster stamp set and um, I wasn't sure if it was going to fit across the page. So I laid it all out and made sure that it would. Of course, when I did this, I didn't take into account the fact that the stamp edges are much larger than the actual finished product of stamping. So I ended up with quite a bit of white space around the um, right side. And if I had thought it through a bit more, I may have um, spaced them out a bit, but I didn't, so it's okay. It's not a big deal. White space uh, doesn't bother me, so um, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. I also had used these stamps once before with black ink and apparently had not cleaned them very well. Uh, so when I stamp a few of the, um, the letters have some black specks in them. Uh, and of course I stamped directly onto the page. I was brave and did that. So there's no fixing it unless I wanted to cover it up. Uh, but it really doesn't bother me too much. Um, the color of the ink that I use still comes through. That's a Hero Arts ink, and I can't remember the name. It might be Mint Julep. It's something similar to that. Okay, so just finishing up the title. It really didn't take uh, any time at all. Uh, and I will definitely go back and make sure that these stamps are well cleaned after I'm finished with this page uh, so that I don't have that mistake again. Um, so once I get the title down, then that is going to kind of dictate where everything else can go on the page. So you saw um, just a few seconds ago, I had everything kind of laid out the way I thought it might work. Um, it's basically going to stay right there. It does leave, like I said, some, some space around the title, but um, I fill in as much as I can and then uh, just leave the rest because white space is always good. Okay, so adding that sheet to the page, um, this is the way I usually do it. I add one strip of um, glue runner down the inside and then fold over the page to make sure it gets lined up well with the other side of the page. And then I can just trim around it after I've glued down the other three sides. Um, and that makes it look like it was meant to be there, like it was part of the original notebook. So um, you may notice that the four by six postcard card uh, is gonna overlap the inside. So um, normally I, I cut things so that they don't uh, cross over the uh, fold of the notebook, um, but this one I'm leaving. One, because it's in the center of the notebook and it's a bit easier to do that when you're in the exact center. Um, the other is that I printed that um, card. It was from the printable version of the Mostly Magic kit. 
Uh, I printed it on pretty thin paper, so it's not a heavy duty cardstock. Uh, that makes it much easier to fold in half and add to the center of the notebook without it uh, causing the notebook to not fold properly. Um, so that's a little bit of a trick. If you want to put something over the center, make sure you're not using uh, super heavy duty cardstock or the original cards. Uh, use the printables and print it on something more lightweight and that will make it much easier to add to the center. Okay, so now I'm just kind of playing around. Um, there's lots of white space, like I said, so I definitely need to add a few more things. I do have that label and that is going to end up going right there where I have it now. Uh, but I decided to pull out this stamp set from the most recent Brandy Kincaid kit. This is the big and small stamp set. Um, that kit is no longer available, so that stamp set is no longer avail available but the digital kit is. So you can do uh, exactly what I'm doing here with the digital kit just by printing out all these elements and adding them to your page. Um, you still get all of the, uh, the stamps in PNG format in, and in Adobe Brush format for Photoshop, Photoshop elements. So you can still create all of these little bits and pieces. Um, you just have to print them out instead of using the stamp. Uh, so I just stamped one of the hearts from the stamp set onto some, um, just a scrap piece of cardstock in that same ink and I'm going to add it as a little embellishment. I had to check the back of my photo to get the date. I never remember to write down the date before I glue my photo down. I always have to peel it back up and look for the date. Um, this time was no exception, but it's not a big deal. This uh, tape runner that I use is pretty flexible. You can peel it up a little bit and stick it back down and eventually it will be permanent. Um, but it is a bit uh, more flexible at first. Okay, so I've also chose a couple other sentiments from the, um, from the stamp set, from the big and small stamp set. And I stamped one above that label where my date is and I'm stamping another below my title. Um, and that the bottom one I stamped in black ink because uh, I felt like it needed um, some more um, weight, I guess. It needed a bit of black there at the bottom. It was looking pretty light. And then the other I stamped in that same uh, kind of bluey, teal, green <laughs> ink. Um, and I, I think that one says, yes, yes, I can. And then the black one says, here for it. And I'm gonna finish off the page with a few of these puffy stickers. I love these puffy stickers so much. I'm using two black stars uh, on either side of here for it. And then I'm using a bunch of the um, kind of tealish, bluish uh, crosses. I guess, I guess they're kind of like crosses. Um, I'm using a bunch all over the page. It matches that ink perfectly, um, which is why I chose that ink. And it works really well with the um, floral pattern card that I have behind my photo. So I have, I've added a few. I'm going to add my journaling now. And once that's in place, I do go back and add a few more of those puffy stickers just to finish off the page. And then that's it. That's gonna be it for this page. So um, super easy super simple, but I really love the way that it turned out. I will be sure to link all of the products that I used down below in the description box if you're curious about um, these products and if you'd like to pick them up for yourself. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you found some inspiration here. Uh, I will see you all back here again very soon.